Hello, parents and students of Sydney City Schools. My name is Christine Jesse. I am the technology coach, and I'm going to walk you through some basics of our Schoology app. So what you have here is your course dashboard. Click on the course that you need, and it brings you to your course. So you have up at the top your list of courses that you can get to at any time. We also have groups and resources available to us. Always check the image to make sure you're in the right course. So we're right now in the materials tab where we can view our different materials. Currently we see the month of September. We can click the care button to open the different folders. We can also use that to close them. We can click on the blue link to open the folder itself so you can see everything inside the folder and with each subfolder. So here we have week one, 9-8, and we have an assignment that we're going to open up here. Now, whenever students open assignments, they're going to see that they have a breadcrumb trail up at the top that allows them to go back to any section that they were just in. So we are currently in the assignment tab. They also have a My Document tab, which we're going to get to in a second. But here's our directions. Complete the vocabulary list using directions from the textbook. So I click on My Document, and that brings up my document. So I'm currently in our test student area. So it says student.student, .student, and that's our test student name. The Google Word Bank here works just the same as if you were using Google Docs. So you're able to come in and type without ever leaving Schoology. No extra windows, no extra tabs, no having to worry about anything like that. So you complete your work within the Google Doc within Schoology. So you type in things, you highlight things, you can make comments and use all the other tools that you've used in Google Docs before. When you are ready to submit the, your assignment, be sure to check your entire assignment first. Go back to the top of the window, and we have a submit assignment, and we also have an edit assignment. When we edit the assignment, it opens up the actual Google Doc page. We don't need this right now, so we're going to go right back to this, and we're going to submit our assignment. If your document's not showing up, click the click here button and that will walk you through on how to log into your Google account. When you click submit assignment, it's going to ask you to make sure you want to submit it. If you are sure, click yes submit and gives you a little rocket saying, hey, we are successful, your submission's on its way. So even after submission is turned in, we can unsubmit and we can edit things in. Like if we saw, oh, I didn't actually finish this assignment, I can unsubmit it and turn it back in with the actual submission as long as it has not yet been graded. And I have up until the due date to do that. So I'm going to go back to my material section. And here we are. And I see also on my upcoming side is that same assignment I just did. That's another way for us to get to the assignment. It shows us our upcoming assignments that we can work on and edit. Uh, it also will show us any upcoming events or any late assignments that we might have for this particular course. This is the update section where a teacher can let us know different things, different announcements. We can like and comment depending on the um, settings. Here is our members list. Any member that has a little shield, the blue star, is considered the teacher. We also have our conferences app, which is called Big Blue Button. Um, we will have your title, which is the one you're going to click on, the time and date, and the end time for the conference. If you happen to miss a conference or miss a session, you can click on completed, and old conferences will be held here for up to seven days. You can click, can click play to watch them. Going back to our materials section here, I'm going to look at my notifications. Here I can turn on and off different notifications from updates to comments on my posts to whenever new course content is created and when course materials are overdue. Make sure to click that blue save button if you want to save any changes. So now I want to message my teacher. I want to let my teacher know that I have a question. So I'm going to type in my teacher's name and make sure to select the correct teacher. Um, since this is a question, I'm going to make my subject question. That way my teacher knows what she is getting into. So this is a question. And then type in my message.
make sure to also sign off as to who you are. We also have other options. You can do an audio video recording. We can send things from our sources, links, or use a file. And when we send it, it lets us know with the little green bar notification that our message has been sent. We can also check our calendar here. Now this calendar happens to have all of my courses on here, so it looks like I have a lot to do. But really, I just want to look at what I have for myself. So here's my list of all my calendars. And just the calendar for me has nothing on it currently. So I know that's not right because I know I have an assignment. So I need to go find the course I just did. So there it is. And if you look, we have the assignment there. I can also look at things by the week. I can also look at things by the day. Month gives us a pretty good overview of what we are seeing. I can also look at our different apps and search things within Schoology if I need to. We also have notifications, so that way we know when we have certain things that are appearing or if we have a message. I can now go back to my course. And I believe my teacher has graded my assignment. So I'm going to go in and take a look at that grade. So I go directly to the assignment, go to my document, and there's my grade. I got a C. I got a 15 out of 20. Probably would help if I had done the entire assignment. So I can click comments and see what my teacher said. Hi, student. You can resubmit the assignment for a better grade if you fix your errors. Okay. So I know that I can redo it. So my teacher can send it back to me or I can resubmit after I edit it. So I can type things in here, change it, and send it back to my teacher for a better grade if I want. And the teachers are going to be able to re-edit that grade. So back here on our home page, we also have recent activity, which shows the updates for all of our courses, not just for the course that we were just in. I can also see my upcoming assignments and events. I can see things that are overdue as well if I'm a little late on things. And this is what is called our course dashboard. It shows all our courses. We have resources available to us. If we want to save something that we are working on, we could save it to our resources. And going back into our course here, we are now going to look at our profile. Our profile is unique to us. It will eventually be loaded with our picture. We have our information here, and this is our portfolios. Some classes will be using portfolios for different assignments. Our settings allow us to add an alternative email, share our calendar, and change what type of settings we want. We can also adjust notifications. We can send notifications to our phone via text message if we need to. We can also adjust privacy settings, and recycle bins for anything that we delete. So this has been a good overview of what we have here for Schoology. If you need any other help with Schoology, please see the contact information here and have a good day.